Thank you very much, Zim, and thanks also to the AAUW for sponsoring this uh, for, I think, the 40th year. It's quite a tradition. It's good to see uh, so many of you here in the audience during a critical election year. Uh, thanks also to all the candidates who have come uh, to cast light on the issues, some of which are complex and all of which are important for our community. Uh, you all are taking part in a dynamic process that has deep roots in the political history of our country. Our election system is one that has been a model for many countries in transition. For example, 20 years ago, the former communist countries all wrote new constitutions to permit competitive elections in office. Now many countries in the Arab world, which has been an upheaval, are moving from dictatorships to popular choice. In that spirit, tonight we look ahead to and welcome your thoughts and ideas, and we expect that our community will be the better for them. Now, a few words about the uh, rules tonight. Uh, basically, we have uh, a series of offices, and uh, for some of those offices, both candidates are here, and in that uh, setting, uh, we basically will be devoting 14 minutes to the debate. Each candidate will have two minutes to give a presentation initially, then we'll have eight minutes for questions, which will come from the audience and have already come, and then a one minute <coughs> by each candidate. There are a couple of offices, two or three, where we only have one candidate, the other is not able to come, and in that situation, uh, we will have two minutes for the introduction, and then three minutes for questions. I'd also like to uh, introduce uh, our timekeeper, Martha Lee, and she's going to tell us what the bell sounds like so the candidates will know when they're done. When your two minutes or six minutes is up, uh, this is the bell that you will hear. And, and I hope that's enough to talk to you to uh, wind it up with the next one. Okay, now I think the uh, candidates for uh, Solicitor General could come up Justin Cabral and Jason Kane. Well, in the nine years I've been prosecuting cases. 
I've relied upon in hundreds of cases that I've prosecuted since I've been Solicitor General. It's been invaluable as I run an office that's the eight, in the eighth busiest state court in the state. And it will guide me as I try to perform my number one responsibility, which is to seek the truth and to do the right thing in every case. Thank you.